Hi. Today we are going to see the 55th shloka of Vishnu Sasranamam, recitation and word by word meaning. Jeeva Vinayita Sakshi Mukunto Amita Vikramaha Ambu Nidira Nandatma Mahan Dishayo Antakaha Jeeva Vinayita Sakshi Mukunto Amita Vikramaha Ambo Nidhira Randatma Mahan Dadishayo Antakaha Jeeva Vinayita Sakshi Mukunto Amita Vikramaha Ambo Nidhira Randatma Mahan Dadishayo Antakaha Let's see the word by word meaning. Jeeva. Jeeva means uh, Bhagavan is the power who can remain with limited ego. Leave, jeeva means the ego that we feel as self, like I, me, myself. So, if you want to enjoy the endless happiness and if you can balance the sorrows, you will be able to control our emotions. So, if you want to feel the endless uh, happiness, you should first feel selfless. You should be happy for everything that is happening around us, not only yourself. And if you can balance the sorrows that is happening to you, and if you stop comparing with others, you will feel that uh, I am balanced. So, Bhagavan is the um, experience of the field that is called Kshetraknya. Kshetraknya means where the body is there to do the experience of thoughts, actions and um, the way you think for others. So when you have to be selfless, you need to attain certain um, concentration or focus that you have to give to our body called Jivatma. And our soul is called Paramatma. So to control the Jivatma, first the Paramatma should be selfless and it is godliness. This Paramatma means the soul that is Bhagavan himself. So when you are able to control our Jivatma, we can be able to control our feelings and experience the ultimate happiness that is bliss. So, Bhagavan is able to control everything, all the sentiments, all the emotions. That's why he is called Jiva. Vinayita Sakshi. Vinayita. Vinayita means Vinayam, means modest. Vinayita means modesty. Vi, uh, sakshi means something that you can see. So, you are witness. So, Vinayita Sakshi means Bhagavan is the witness of the modesty because he does not uh, consider himself so great even though he is great. He does not consider himself that uh, he is the best even when he is the best. So, the feeling of uh, proudness or proudness in a uh, harmful way. That means once you have that ahankara, that is aham kara. Uh, aham means I, me, myself. Kara means the jivatma or the body. Aham kara means only I can do. Only I am able. Only I am uh, the best. So that kind of feeling is um, aham kara. But Bhagavan is the epitome of the modesty. Vinayam. Vinayam means kindness. Humility and Bhagavan is the pure consciousness who uh, without a second nothing will move in this universe. Nothing will happen in the universe. So Bhagavan is controlling each and everything for a single, even a single millisecond in this universe. But still he is so modest. That's why he is called Vinayita Sakshi.
Mukunto. Mukunto means na Bhagavan is a power who is able to give liberation to our soul from the body. So Bhagavan decides when that should happen. Only Bhagavan knows when this Jivatma should be destroyed and Paramatma should go to the Vaikuntha. So all the imperfections that is happening in this universe can be to an extent um, be um, made good by the creations the which Bhagavan will give you some suggestions. He will show some path through which we can make sure all the crooked ways can be straightened in this universe. So Bhagavan will be there to give hand to any struggling hardships that a, a devotee is going through. So he gives complete liberation to all the devotees at the end of total surrender to Bhagavan. That's why he is called Mukunta. Amida Vikramaha. Amida means a lot. Vikrama. Vikrama means uh, krama means like order. Vikrama means not in a specific order. That means Bhagavan is immeasurable. He took the avadharam of Vamana where he measured the uh, all the space with his small foot. But the he started growing and he could not uh, measure with a single step because he started growing in a, such a big way that everything started seeming so small. So in the Vamana av Avatara, Bhagavan took the steps to measure the universe. So he is called the Vikrama. That's why he is called Vikrama. And Amita Vikrama. Amita Vikrama is biggest uh, um, to a biggest extent. He um, grew to a biggest extent that his body became so big he could not measure the universe with his feet. That's why Bhagavan is called Amita Vikramaha. Ambo. Ambo Nithi. Nithi means treasure. Ambo means the uh, actually, it's an ocean. So, uh, Bhagavan is the ocean with full of treasures in it. Bhagavan is the ocean with lots of information, knowledge, thoughts, actions. Everything is there. So, Bhagavan is the basic uh, foundation for all the types of creations that he has been doing in different yugas. That's why he is called Ambo Nithi. Anantatma. Atma means the soul. Ananta means the infinite. So, Anantatma means Bhagavan is infinite self. That is, he uh, is cannot be defined by time, space, substance or anything that we are made of. He cannot be measured with anything. He is unconditioned. He is infinite. And he is the universe himself. He is uh, created not by anything and cannot be destroyed. So he is himself with no immeasurable way of uh, self. So Bhagavan is Anand. Atma, that means he is vast, he is everywhere and he cannot be measured with anything that we can even think of. That's why Bhagavan is called Anantatma. Maham Dishayo. Maha means great. Disha means certain um, uh, like a edge or certain corner. So, Disha means also we can say that pole, like North Pole, South Pole, East, West, that direction. So, Maha Disha means he can be found in any direction, any pole, anywhere. So, he is uh, one of the power who rests in the great ocean. So, 
he is uh, considered to be in the Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha uh, on the Adi Shesha. He is uh, sleeping on the bed of Adi Shesha. So, he is um, dissolved in all the matters that is constituting in the universe. He is everywhere and he is one of the Atmas that we have been created. That's why he is called Mahan Dishaya. Antaka. Antaka means the death or the end or the um, ultimate stop like that. So, Antaka means Bhagavan is the power who brings constant changes to the world and he decides the evolution. He decides the creation. He decides the development. He decides when to end a specific yuga, when to end a specific jivatma and when to separate a paramatma and from the jivatma and start another creation. So all the decision making is done by Bhagavan and that's why he is the uh, Antaka. He is called Antaka because he decides the death of everything that is happening in the universe. Jiva, Vinayita, Sakshi, Mukundu, Amita Vikramaha, Ambo Nidhira Randatma, Mahandishayo, Antakaha, Jiva, Vinayita, Sakshi, Mukundu, Amita Vikramaha, Ambo Nidhira Randatma, Mahandadishayo, Antakaha, Jeevo Vinayita Sakshi Mukunto Amita Vikramaka Ambo Nidhira Randatma Mahanda Dishayo Antakaha. Thank you.